don't feel like paying for TPMS on my on my wheels. You feel? I don't know where this video is gonna go. I don't really know what we're doing. Hunter just banged my line yesterday. He's like, "Yo, we should vlog." So I was like, well, "I'm gonna break with you." Anyways, so I didn't record it, but I got new wheels, so I'm sure that'll be like the title maybe of this video. But I'm gonna keep it a, a hush mode for a little bit. I'll show you guys later. But me and Hunter are at school now, and then. Hunter's car got T-boned by a shopping cart, so uh, we dropped it off Sunday night, and now it's it's done off for paint because he his front bumper already painted because the shopping cart hit it. She was coming in at like 100 miles an hour. I tell you what, and it like spider cracked his front bumper, so we had to go pick it up from paint. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do that after school. Hopefully they're done by then. Oh my God. My front rubs so bad because it pokes like an inch. So I got, I got Turner camber plates, like the fixed ones where it does negative 2.5 degrees coming in tomorrow. So hopefully that'll make the front wheels tuck it I'm running 18 by nine and a half 35 offset square setup all around on 265 so the the back I have an 8 mil spacer on and it tucks it perfectly so that's the rear is nice but the front is not I had to raise the coilovers a lot so now it looks like oh My front is super, super high compared to the, the rear. So, like I said, I got the camera plates coming in. So hopefully, with those, it cameras in enough to where it'll tuck the front wheels. So that way, I can be, yeah, right, be a low boy again. Because literally, my fender to the wheel is like you can't even put your finger in it, and it pokes an inch. So I, I rub on literally everything, which is great. Anyways, I'm on my way to Hunter's house, so get you on the flip. That sharp items are sharp. So pretty much what happened. It's like, what happened? So what happened was they just told me that it's not gonna be done for two days. They done they on still on the bumper though. Yeah, they took it off and everything, and they don't have a psh yet. So. So this gonna be a dose amigos vlog. Dos dezos of Z's. Dos days vlog. You're, wait, but tomorrow I also get my camera plate, so that might oh, be. Oh. So might this be. might be a three piece jump. Trace. Look, we're at Chick Fil A, but we getting three piece chicken nuggets. That's true. So we got <laughs> Chick Fil A. Not so bad. We got wheels that I haven't shown yet. Camera plates, probably install that joint later in this video. And then cars, it's back crazy. in town, baby. Back louder than ever. It's a boom! It do be hitting that front bumper to leak. And then four videos. Kiss him on the cheek, oh. All right. <laughs> All right, so Hunter's car is actually not gonna be done until tomorrow we called, and they said that it's not gonna be done until Thursday. So, we're probably gonna pick up this vlog tomorrow. My hair is brazy. Um, so yeah, we'll probably just pick up this vlog tomorrow. And I'll show you guys the wheels tomorrow when I install the, the camber plates, so. All right, it's the next day, or night I should say. And God dang, is it beautiful out tonight. You know? It'd be a little drippy out, but it's all right. So I'm gonna bring in the beam into here and we're gonna toss in the camera plates because they came in today. Uh, I was looking on YouTube and I don't think there's anyone who installed these. Maybe because no one cares enough. But um, uh, I'm gonna install them and show you guys how to. Looks fairly simple. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm gonna get her in. Get her underneath, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, 
Sir! Jesus. I suck at doing that. And it's smoky up on here, boy. Who hit the weight? Dude, I like barely made it on the wood. Hey, I got her done. All right, so first start off by uh, jacking up one side. I was gonna print out the instructions that Turner gives you. I guess I should show you guys what they look like first. So pretend this was sealed. Magic, they're open now. Unboxing videos brought to you by Wyatt. So here she is. There's the uh, right side. So pretty much simply all you gotta do is push out the OEM studs on this. These only work for the OEM top hats and they do negative 2.5 degrees of camber. So here's new wheels, I know I haven't showed them yet, but they are odd hand AH2s. They're 18 by nine and a half square setup, 35 offset. So this has a 15 mil spacer, so it'll clear the strut. If I didn't have the spacer, or if I had any smaller spacer, it would literally hit the strut, so I have to have that size spacer on there. Um, but as you can tell, it, it definitely pokes from the fender, and it rubs like all the time, it's ridiculous. So I two day shipped those camber plates for a reason. And in the back it fits perfectly with, I got some eight mil spacers back here, and it tucks it perfectly, no rubbing issues back here. And they're on 265 35 R18s. So these shots do be clean though. They're the first uh, new set of wheels I've ever had. All the other wheels I've had were like off Facebook used. So it's a first for me. But uh, I'm really happy with them. Clappy. Whew, what did I just say? I'm happy I went with the polished lips. I think it looks a lot better compared to if I went with black or something. Because then it would just blend in too much. So you're gonna to wanna to start with popping the hood. Obviously. Oh. And it's dark, let me get a light real quick. I don't know, I haven't had my thing on in a fat minute, so if you can remove these without removing that, then obviously no need to remove that thing, but this is a 11 mil and that is a 14 mil, I believe. So what you wanna do is go ahead and spin that boy. And take her off right there. And get you a classic 10 miller. Huh. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm gonna have to double hand. Double hand that John if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so I removed that 10 mil. That side's 10 mil, 14 mil. And now they should just slide straight toward you and then come right out. And these do matter which side you put them back in, so try to create a way of yourself remembering that. Now, once you get that whole thing off, you just wanna go ahead and jack one side up. And then you're just gonna loosen these Swing the strut out, do a little bit of that, do a little bit of that, and then you're done. So, start off by jacking the driver's side up first. My jacking point for this side is completely clapped, so I'm always nervous jacking it up on this side. Should probably get some new ones of those, but screw it. All right, so I got the wheel off, and here she is, by the way, all that meat, boy. Um, I don't know if I recorded before, I think, me and Hunter recorded like a video that never, the lighting's awful. Me and Hunter recorded a video that never even got uploaded or something. So I might throw in a clip, but I got the Mishimoto stuck conversion kit off of ECS tuning. I got the ones that work with 30 mil spacers. I got that for all four. Um, they are very long, but here, well, the spacers on there now, but 
it was easy. I just used red. Why is it blurry? I just used red Loctite, and then you torque it to, I think it says 12 foot-pounds of torque. I did 15 because 12 seems like way too loose, but even 15 does, but so yeah. So, I mean, I haven't had any problem with any of these, um, and these look a lot better than the OEM ones, of course. I'm going to go ahead and remove the end link upper bolt. I'm going to try my best to do this without removing the entire strut because that would just suck. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start by taking that upper bolt off the end link and see if I can get this thing to swing out because I really do not feel like taking the whole thing out again. All right, so I got the end link out, and so I've been loosening these enough to where it'll slowly start dropping down. So I have the jack underneath the control arm, and I'm just slowly letting this fall out. And I think it is going to work to where I can replace the top hat without actually um, taking the whole strut out. All right, so I got it to this point here to where I have the strut swung out. out. Okay, so I finally broke this alignment pin loose. So that thing is out now, and that is required for these camera plates to take this take this out here. And now, next thing you have to do is hammer out the studs. Um, that's what the that's what the instruction said. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to banging. Okay, these are actually coming out way easier than I assumed they would. So you just got you just gotta hit them pretty good with the hammer, and then they'll fall out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all three of them. Um, I would show it, but I don't really have someone to hold the camera while I hammer it. So, I mean, it's not hard. So just literally hammer that hoe out. Okay, so now I got all the studs out and I'm putting on the Turner camera plates. So they give you six of these bolts here. So on top, it's this. On the bottom, washer and nut. I wonder if they give you torque specs. I got to look that up real quick, but... So left is driver side, obviously, and just put it on like that and bolt her in. Then you be a tilted boy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the hardware in. All right, so you have to torque these down to 25 foot pounds of torque, and it's a 13 mil on the back side, and the Allen a the Allen is a five mil. So five mil on top, 13 mil on the bottom. So I went ahead and torqued these down to 25 already. So now I'm just going to throw this back up in the wheel well, get it all tightened up, and then hopefully we're good to go. I want that kind of camera right there. Just slap the wheel on like that, call her good. So Turner also recommends 25 foot-pounds of torque for these top ones too. You can definitely tell it's going to be cambered probably just as much as I could have gone with like adjustable ones. Because I mean, as you can see, it's all the way over. So, I'm pretty excited actually to see how much it is cambered. The whole reason I bought the camber plates was because of the poke. And because I, like I said earlier, I rub everywhere. So, so I'm really hoping with the 2.5 degrees that I can tilt them in enough just to clear it so I don't rub. So, I'm going to go ahead and torque these. Throw the end link back in. Throw the wheel back on and praying to God that... She won't rub no more. All right, so here's the final test now. I got it all tightened up and everything. Camera plates on. This I haven't done that side yet, but this side is done. Um, so the Turner camera plates do the current the cam, Turner camera plates do add six millimeters of height. I lowered my coilovers a little bit, and uh, so hopefully, however I have it right now is perfect because I really hate going back and lifting it up, taking the wheel off, and adjusting coilovers, but. So you gotta do sometimes. So here we go. I'm gonna lower it down. And it is on a two by four. Doesn't make much of a difference, but I'm not trying to do this with one hand, so I'm gonna set it up. I'm really, really hoping it's cambered enough. Because otherwise I will waste my money. Looks like it's going to tuck it perfectly. Actually. Yeah, so here it is. Can't really tell from the side angle. But I'm really hoping that that's going to tuck it in there enough. Um, 
Definitely got some room to, to go lower if I want it, but I might keep it there for now, actually. Just to see if it rubs. And if I don't have any rubbing issues, I might drop it maybe a couple turns. I don't know. But here's a look from up top. They look pretty cool when you know when you pop your hood. You got some flex points right there. Um, Alright, so here's here's the stock side on 18 by 9 and a half, 35 offset. Clearly there's like an inch of poke. Over here, the Turner camera plate, 2.5 degrees in. Definitely tucks out a lot more. Really hope it doesn't rub anymore. It's like pretty much perfectly flush actually. And I believe I have a 15 mil. I think, yeah, it's a 15 mil spacer here. Cause it's like really close to hitting the strut. Like you can barely even put a credit card in there. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do that side. Probably won't record as much as that or maybe not even any of it. But uh, all right, so I finally finished. It didn't take too long, probably just a couple hours. So I got driver side and passenger side both done. Here's the passenger side. Again, they are on two by fours. I think this side is a little bit lower than the driver's side. That was my fault with the coilovers. I'm going to back it out of the garage a little bit. It's raining and it's like dark out, but just to see more of the front end. Here's this side. So I'm really hoping I don't rub at all with these camera plates. Uh, I mean, they look cool. At least. Um, and like... I don't know if this is with all of them, but I've seen a lot of E92s have like an insane amount of stock camber in the rear, um, which is actually kind of cool because my fitment in the back is pretty much perfect, I think. But so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up back around the garage and then probably in the video. So it's super dark, so you can't see anything. But that's pretty much the end of the video. Um, I didn't see any Turner camera plate install videos on YouTube. So, now I'm the first. If I didn't see any other ones, and there is, my B, bruh. But, um, so yeah. New wheels. Camber plates. Car be looking. My car really do be looking kind of spicy right now, though. Um, so yeah. I don't know what to say because outdoors are cringy, but there's the whip. She looking fresher than ever. Like the polished wheels. I have no idea what the next video is going to be because I have no idea what we're doing next. But early in this video, we were going to go to get Hunter's car. And then we said that they needed one more day or something. But he got his car either way. So we'll probably show you guys what they did in the next video. But that's it. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Really do be looking fire right now though. Even though it's really dark though.